Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am explaining about data sufficiency with different models of problems in uh, aptitude. See here, here the question is uh, the area of playground, the area of playground which is given as uh, 1600 square meters, uh, what is its perimeter? Here, area of a playground, uh, we don't know the shape of playground, whether it is uh, circle shape or a square shape or a rectangle shape we don't know the exact shape of uh, that particular playground so you even though you are getting this uh, even though the area is given even though the area is given unless and until that particular shape is belongs to either it is circle or square or a rectangle or any other shapes uh, it is not uh, possible to get the perimeter. Why? Because for each and every shape, we have a different, different perimeter. For circle, the circumference of perimeter is 2 pi r. For uh, square, that is uh, 4 into side. And for rectangle, that is 2 into L plus P. So, uh, for each and every shape, the perimeter will be varied. So, without knowing the shape, it is not possible to get the answer. Now, the first statement is... Uh, given as uh, it is a perfect square it is a perfect square playground so perfect square playground and the given information is area of playground by using the given information and first statement uh, we can say that that is a perfect uh, square perfect square area is equal to a square a square is equal to 1600 from this you will get a is equal to 40 a is equal to 40 meters. If you got A is equal to 40, automatically perimeter is equal to 4A. 4 into 40 which is equal to 160 meters. That is a perimeter of uh, that particular square playground. So, you will get the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. You will get the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. Now, I will take only statement 2 alone. Here the sentence is, uh, it cost... 3200 rupees it cost how much amount 3200 rupees to put uh, to put a fence around the playground here it cost 3200 to put a fence around the playground at a rate of this is very important at a rate of 20 rupees per meter at a rate of 20 rupees per meter here uh, the fencing whatever the fencing is there Whatever the fencing, whether it is a circle or square or rectangle, it doesn't matter. Here, for fencing, fencing is nothing but a perimeter. Fencing is nothing but perimeter. In order to fence that particular playground, suppose for example, that is, I am imagining that that is a square shape. I am imagining that is square shape. In order to fence this square shape, it will cost... 3200 and per meter cost is 20 rupees so total perimeter of that particular square which is equal to 160 here also i got the same result as that of uh, first statement uh, even though if your assumption that that is a uh, circle if it is a circle also circumference is equal to 3200 divided by 20 that will gives you uh, perimeter that will gives you perimeter for rectangle also same thing here it is not mandatory that uh, uh, you must know the side of a square or else radius of circle or else length and breadth of rectangle it is not mandatory here total cost uh, total cost is equal to perimeter into cost per meter cost per meter here total cost is given and cost per meter is given so it is very easy to get a perimeter so by using second statement alone itself you are getting the answer so by using first statement alone you are getting the answer and also by using second statement alone you are getting the answer therefore your required answer is option c option c is the right answer let's move on to the next question what is gagan's age what is Gagan's age? Here the question is about Gagan's age. According to first statement, Gagan, Vimal and Kunal, all, all are having the same age. It means all are equal. All are equal age. 
equal age but i don't know what is the age of each and every person so it is not possible to get the answer by using statement one alone now let's see the second uh, statement which is uh, total age of vimal kunal and uh, anil which is uh, 32 years this total value is given vimal plus kunal plus and uh, Anil that is equal to 32 and one more information is about Anil. Anil is uh, as old as uh, Vimal and Kunal together. Anil is uh, as old as Vimal and Kunal together. Suppose for example Vimal and Kunal uh, let us take Anil is uh, X uh, and that uh, V plus K Vimal plus Kunal that is also X. Uh, x plus x which is equal to 32, 2x is equal to 32, therefore x is equal to 16. What is x here? Anil. Anil age is equal to 16. If Anil age is equal to 16, Vimal plus Kunal that is also 16. But uh, we don't know what is the individual age of Vimal and what is the individual age of uh, Kunal. We know that uh, together value is 16. If together value is 16, it is not possible to set the value of uh, V and K. And uh, obviously, you will not get the answer even though you are combining both the statements together. By using second statements itself, you will not get the age of Gagan. Why? Because in the second statement, Gagan is not at all there. Now, if you combine both the statements also, you will not get the answer. Why? Because uh, you know the sum of the ages of Vimal and Kunal, but you don't know the individual values of Vimal and Kunal. Is it clear? And uh, given that, uh, right, uh, here Vimal and, uh, from first one, Vimal and Kunal are uh, same age. So, 2x, uh, let us take Vimal and Kunal, both are uh, same. That is 2y is equal. Let us take Vimal is y. Kunal is also y. 2y is equal to 16. Obviously, y is equal to 8. Guys, uh, here you will get the answer by combining both the statements together. V is equal to 8. K is equal to 8. Obviously, J is equal to 8. You are getting the answer by combining both the statements. That is option E. You are getting the answer by combining both the statements. As uh, you know that V plus K is equal to 16 and V and K both are equal. So, obviously, uh, each and every person value is 8. Gagan, Vimal and Kunal. That is 8 years. Sir. So, option E is the right answer. Next question. See here. How many pages of book X did uh, Robert read on Sunday? How many pages of book X did Robert read on Sunday? Now, if you see the first uh, statement, uh, the book has 300 pages. Total 300 pages are there. Out of which uh, two, -third were, uh, two thirds were re read by him before Sunday. Before Sunday, two thirds completed. Before Sunday, two thirds completed, which means 200. Now, remaining uh, 100 pages are left over. Remaining 100 pages are left over so this uh, these hundred pages uh, read by that particular person robert uh, on sunday before sunday total three uh, two hundred pages are completed uh, out of three hundred and remaining hundred pages on sunday so you will get the answer by using statement one alone now i will take statement two alone robert read the last 40 pages of the book uh, last 40 pages of the book on the morning of monday it means on the morning of monday uh, 40 pages so up to sunday up to sunday total 260 completed up to sunday total 260 completed and uh, guys uh, if you see uh, in this case in first one out of 300 pages two third work read by him before sunday before sunday 200 completed but uh, Exactly, we cannot say on Sunday he will finish that particular job. That we cannot say exactly. Uh, we have to say 100% accuracy. Why? Because uh, uh, we don't know. Maybe he may read uh, 50 pages on Sunday and 50 pages on next day. We don't know. That is also one of the possible cases. So, we cannot say exactly on Sunday he will read uh, 100 pages and uh, and there is no sentence that Sunday is the last day that he will read. 
right there is no sentence in this particular statement so from first statement itself you will not get the logic up to saturday before sunday total 200 pages are completed now you can say that after saturday after saturday remaining 100 pages will uh, completed after saturday in the sense from sunday onwards from sunday onwards i don't know maybe on sunday 10 pages on monday 20 pages on uh, next uh, remaining pages on uh, tuesday right that point i don't know that is the uh, possible cases all those are possible cases so in the second statement uh, last 40 pages are uh, read by him on uh, morning of monday these uh, 40 pages on morning of monday so before monday total 260 pages are completed if you combine uh, these two why because if you combine these two uh, by using only second one also you will not get the logic right uh, before sunday before sunday 260 pages are completed by using uh, these two and uh, one more sentence here is uh, before sunday before this sunday two third completed two third means uh, 200 pages before sunday so obviously on sunday he will read uh, 60 pages on sunday he will read 60 pages uh, here it means uh, you will get the answer by combining both the statements uh, together option e is the right answer guys i hope uh, you understand the question and i hope you enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching